don't have to agree with every every view that is expressed here, but it is important that we listen to all the views. That's the whole idea of this type of uh, conference. I think what we are trying to see is that while it is important to have a micro uh, perspective, which means how it really works on the ground, we should also see it from the macro perspective, how you can see that from the global level in order to really ensure that there is a good connection between what we try to do at the global level and how that will play out on the ground level. So uh, that type of discussions, uh, uh, you know, everywhere is, is, is very, very important to really get a good perspective, 360 degree perspective if you like, yeah. Well, I would say uh, that uh, this, um, I think the conference uh, is very important in order to have a dialogue, I would say, because of course the uh, actual negotiation will take place in New York itself and on the member states. Uh, that is where the, you know, the, the, the global development goals will be decided, targets will be talked about as well. Uh, but it is, it is very important to have a dialogue with all perspectives and that's why I think this uh, dialogue is very, very important. Well, I mean, um, you know that people sometimes just look at the LDCs as countries having a huge problems and all of that, but they also have a lot of resources. That's what I was trying to refer to. Whether it is a human capability, if you can really uh, provide them with the necessary education, good health, and then the technical training and the opportunities for a job, they can be a very good force for change now. Secondly, they have also their natural resources. Look at the LDCs. They are not that poor in natural resources. Most of them have a lot of them. But how do you really uh, make sure that all these resources that they have can be effectively used through building institutions, through building necessary right strategies and policies, and creating necessary environment within, and then of course a very strong international support mechanism. And that's the only way, because I mean they have for various reasons. Um, I mean some have of course some uh, going through conflict, some others have the traditionally very low level in which they have started, whether it is a maternal mortality or whether it is an economic structure that they have or whether the, uh, the over-dependence on the traditional way of doing the, uh, the, 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 the agriculture or other economic activities. Uh, we need to really make sure that uh, they get due benefit from the international uh, globalization, if you like, but at the same time, they need to leapfrog into the uh, new development uh, path. And that is, that is the challenge that they face. And that's why when we say that, if we are able to do that, you are, we are talking about 880 million people, which are in the LDCs, and out of that, almost half, which means about 450 million people are below the poverty line there. If our aim is to eradicate poverty and alleviate poverty and of course we are now looking towards eradication of poverty you cannot have SDGs without LDCs you cannot you know uh, have that eradication of poverty and of course the sustainable development is all about of course managing the natural resources in a sustainable way and also ensuring rapid but inclusive growth now you cannot have these three things if you just take out almost like one sixth of the entire population and that's why there is an opportunity to really lift them out of poverty and uh, proceed them towards the, um, you know, the sustainable development path. And I will also say that because many of these countries are still in the early stage of industrialization, which means that the, the type of the traditional brown economy is not that much there yet. So if we have the necessary international support as well as a strong national policies, in these countries, you can really sidestep this type of uh, you know polluting and then the you know the unsustainable uh, you know industrialization as well as agriculture and the services and other activity and perhaps you know uh, leapfrog into the new path and that's also an opportunity and that would perhaps also show the way for many other countries in similar situations how to go forward. So that's what I was trying to refer to when I say the challenges. Of course, we have to look at it how we can make this, turn this around and make it as an opportunity for the international community to really lift up the, uh, you know, the, uh, the prospect as well as the capability of all these uh, people living in these countries.